uh, it's Dylan Thomas um, and uh, a co-writer, John Davenport. And Dylan writes to John, I'd like to make this book the detective story to end all detective stories, introducing blatantly every character and situation, inevitable Chinaman, secret passages that no respectable writer would dare to use now. I would like to drag hundreds of red herrings, false clues, withheld evidence into the book, falsify every issue, make many chapters deliberate parodies full of cliches of other detectives. This will be the best fun and will make us drinking money for a year. <laughs> <laughs> That's the introduction. That is, uh, the jury's out on whether the piece I'm going to read you called Parachutist is even written by Dylan Thomas. He, uh, uh, the Constantine Fitzgibbon, the reviewer, actually says there's no way that it was John Davenport, that this is all Dylan. I leave you to make up your mind. Parachutist. I shall never forget his blue eye, bright as a bird's but larger, imprinting on my own, tear wounded but merciless iris, the eternal letters of his blonde incomprehension. He came down lightly by the lily pool where a bird was washing, but he didn't frighten her. A tousled boy from the skies, Petrol should not have signed, shamefully to his surprised dishonor. His uniform, like an obscene shroud, fretted his hands that should have held in peace, a girl's two kind ones in a public park. Handled a boat or fashioned simple things, flutes, clogs, little wooden bears, or in beer gardens by the ribboning rhyme, mirthfully gestured under linden trees. Now these once loving kindly hands, cherished like an adder picked up on a walk, a tommy gun, cold threat to love and steel, Icarus he stands, his silken clouds of glory trailing behind him, a bird's broken wing trembling from his falling angel's flight, down the sky weeping death, his wide amazed gaze like the child of Mozart, straight would have stripped like an x-ray, each last layer of his inmost heart. Had he but seen his enemy standing by the desk he tie with betrayals and public faces of private friends, false as a walking tour, suddenly splintered like glass the brittle dome, enfolding our silence an unjust bullet. Destroy the delicate whirl on whirl of his brain, under the rose bush his trigger finger trembled. O oh, young man, all oh, my might have been, my understander, we could have watched the dawn rise over Munchi or gathered chestnuts under Hanukkah Hill. I, who have known you only in the unknowing, may now alone know you never at all. O oh, enemy, not my choice. And can I just tell you, they didn't make any drinking money because the book was deemed unfit for publication for 40 years. Thank you.